Hey everyone! All right, trying to set this up before this falls over. Um, all right, I have not done a Periscope in quite some time. Um, the reason why I've been just really kind of focused on my YouTube page, and um, I think Periscope is awesome and fantastic, but I haven't really had the greatest success with it. So, and I feel a lot of the things people repeat a lot. Hey everyone, when you guys are coming on, feel free to say where you're from if you're new to my Periscope or new to Periscope in general. But um, with Periscope, I try to stick to my YouTube. And if you guys follow me on YouTube, I usually pop out more videos there than Periscope because I hate repeating myself in the beginning of who I am or where to look at and this and that. So anyways, a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Ashton Meyer. I am a coach and um, I've been on a long crazy journey. My biggest role model or my biggest role I should say is I'm the Heavenly Father's daughter and I have three wonderful beautiful children. Um, I've been on a crazy journey over the last four years and uh, really what it comes down to is um, I lost 100 pounds in 18 months, continued to progress my journey and everything and it's just been really crazy. So I help people through health and fitness. I help them achieve their goals as well as I help uh, entrepreneurs achieve their goals and just really motivate people to uh, love, I should say. But I want to talk about mindset today. And again, if, if, you, if you're not following me on YouTube, go to YouTube. I'll do more videos there. Periscope, just yeah. Feel free to flood those hearts, ask questions if you'd like. But the biggest thing that I want to talk about is our mindset because uh, – <laughs> and I don't, if you're not a believer, if you're not in your faith and you don't want to listen to that, go ahead and get off the periscope because, um, or take, take what you want and leave what you don't want. But I am someone who's in my faith, so I will speak about my faith. Um, but so I'm going to be very blunt right here. First of all, a lot of, we're cowards. We feed into our fear so much and our fear paralyzes us. And it's so heartbreaking to see how many people let their fear overtake them versus their faith. And the biggest thing is that if we play it safe, we're honestly, we're not, we're not pleasing God. We are not pleasing God and playing it safe without faith. You're not taking a risk. Good morning. Um, so if you're not taking a risk, what are you doing? You're letting all these comments, all these fears, all these different things that are battling your mind in your head, telling you that you're not good enough to do something or don't do that because you're going to fail or you're worried about this judgment or you're worried about all these people telling you that you can't do this. And so this fear grabs you and it paralyzes you from achieving things that we are set out to do. I mean, if, come on now, if I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail dreaming big. If I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail trying to push forward to seeing my faith. Not what I can see, not what, what I, I can say, okay, economies like this or economies like that. No, I'm going to dream big and I'm going to pray so big that God has to make a movement in my life. And the biggest part about it is that, you know, we're not going to offend him by, you know, praying big. We're not. So I'm going to look at my faith. And that's probably the biggest thing is that most people live by what is seen or what is known or what is safe. So they don't take that next step. And they just, they run away from their fears. They don't chase them. And this is what we should do. We should be courageous and in our mind, know and believe that we are capable of doing anything and everything that we possibly can. Look back. Do you think that we'd be sitting here having planes? Who probably, that was the craziest, I probably crazy, right? They're like, you really think that we're going to be flying? People probably thought they were insane. And look at where it's taken us today. So we need to re remind ourselves and change our mindset every single day. And I'm telling you, because you're going to get these things that come in your head, and I call him the enemy, and he's going to continuously pick at your brain and pick at your mind and tell you that you're not good enough. And that's absolutely not true. We're created for a big purpose. We're created here to do something big with our lives. But the biggest choice is that we have freedom. We have our free choice. So you have, you have the option 
of choosing to be a problem and focus on what's wrong in your life and why things won't work and why everything is against you. And then you can blame other people for your actions when it comes down to you and your choices. And it doesn't matter what circumstances are in your way or why things have happened. You don't need to understand it, but all you need to do is you can create a solution for it. So be a problem or create a solution for your life. You need to look at what you can do to change your life. If you're not where you're at and you want to be at in your life, that should be motivation enough to get the heck up and figure out what it is that you want to do in your life. What is it that you're passionate about? What is your purpose here? Why are you stuck in the place that you're stuck in? It's because you have this mindset and you're letting things and people and circumstances in your mind overtake what you truly are here for. Don't do that. Flip that switch and you're going to have to keep holding it up because someone's going to come over and try to turn it off, right? Yep, lights are on too long. You better turn them off. Tell my kids that all the time. So get in there and hold that switch up and tell yourself over and over all these words of affirmation. Read, learn, grow, and believe in who you are and what you can do. That mindset is what it's all about. The person who I was four years ago at 238 pounds completely talked down on herself. I didn't believe in who I was. I had complete no confidence and I was so negative. I blamed everybody else and anything for everything that was going in my life. And even now to this day, I hear people, they're like, why would God let this happen? Or why would God do this or do that? First of all, I don't understand why anything happens. We aren't here to understand why it happens. We're here to live our life fulfilling our needs for God's will. And um, I'm not a pastor. I'm very much new into my faith. I mean, over the last two years, and I've grown tremendously in two months. So um, this is just what I believe in and what I see. But anyways, so... My biggest tip for you today, I don't want to make this long, is to really grab your mindset and look at why you're here. If you're stuck in a place of worry, you're stuck in a place of feeling that you're not important, you're stuck in a place feeling alone, you're not alone. And you truly have the ability to either be the problem and blame other people and blame circumstances in your life, or you have the option to be the solution and to figure out what's wrong in your life, and to take it on. I mean, I believe in sitting here praying, and I do pray constantly, and I, you know, I believe that anything and everything is possible. But that doesn't mean that you you sit there and you pray and you wait for something to come. There was something that I heard. Okay, last quickly, let me tell you this story. So there's this guy, okay, and he's out in the ocean, and he's on a raft boat, or and he's like, say, or no, he wasn't on a raft boat, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo this. <laughs> so he's in the ocean. He's in the middle of the ocean, and he's getting ready to drown. He's like, God, save me. Save me. So God sends a raft boat by. And he's like, oh, yeah, hop in the raft boat. Hop in the raft boat. And he's like, no, 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 no. My God's going to save me. My God's going to save me. So then, you know, he's sitting there waiting, waiting. All of a sudden, a helicopter comes by, throws down a ladder. He's like, hey, come on, come on. He's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm good. God's going to save me. God's going to save me. And... So the helicopter goes. Next comes this big, huge boat of people. And they're like, all right, come on, let's get you out. And he's like, no, 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 no. My God's going to save me. He's going to save me. He's going to save me, right? And what happens? He dies. And he's up in heaven. And he's angry. And he's pissed off. And he's like, God, why didn't you save me? (laughs) He's sitting there. He's like, what did you want me to do? I sent a raft boat. I sent a helicopter. And I sent a huge ship your way. And it's because we are waiting for this huge miraculous sign over and over and over and over and over that someone to tell us, hey, here, it's this opportunity here. You need to do this. No, you need to act on the opportunities that come your way. You need to take that faith and you need to let go of your fears and quit being that safe person who thinks that that life is the way that it is. So get rid of your problems by creating a solution. Stop whining, stop pouting, stop sitting there. Do something with your life. 
Make it important. Live, love, and matter. And learn. And then pay it forward and share it with someone else. That's all I have for you guys today. Have an amazing, blessed day. And I look forward to hearing from you guys.